Okay, so I'm here with Ashton Phipps, the North Island champion. Both these carts that are standing behind me here. Look, mate, you had a, a great pre-final in the Rotax Max Junior. You ended up winning the race, but on P2 with the format. How's it all unfolding so far? Is it going to plan? Uh, yeah, the wagon's been pretty good so far. The carts have been on point in the last couple of races. Focus on the final, just eyes forward, and I think we'll be sweet. What do you think the weather's going to do? Um, I'm hoping it stays clear. I don't want it to rain, but if it rains, uh, I think we should be fine. We're pretty quick in the rain here, and yeah. There we go, that's young Ashton Phipps about to do battle for Junior Rotax and uh, DVS Junior. Normally, you'd have a bit of time in the morning to do all this sort of stuff, but because CIK is a pretty big event, there'll be a fair bit going on at the club, which I sort of have to help out with. And um, running too. We tend to have everything ready to go, so when we just show up, we can put them out on the grid and, and they're good to go. A lot of load that goes through the go-kart, so there's a lot of parts under stress that you need to just check, you know, when your nuts and bolts are tight and yeah. You always find little things when you clean them, so a big part of that routine. Checking everything over. It's a team effort. It's definitely all three of us pretty busy to get these carts on the grid for Auckland, but not gonna be a problem this weekend. The weather's just gonna be beautiful and settled and it makes things much more relaxing for me, so yeah. I'm not sort of pushing the kids to do it. It's definitely something they wanna do. Um, but yeah, I still enjoy it. I don't know, it's a pretty cool buzz when they actually go out and have a good race and achieve something they want to achieve. What are you going to focus on this weekend, Jeff? Just overall pace and clean passing. Not raging and... <laughs> Um, hmm. just, yeah, having fun on track. This weekend's different because it's not about points, Jared, it's just about how we go in the final. Mm -hmm. Do you know how long your final is? No. 28 laps. Well, that's bonus for me. <laughs> and why is that a bonus for you? Um, because I keep quite fit, um, you know, I work out during the week to stay fit for karting, so... I think I might be a bit more fit than some of my competitors. It's going to be a big challenge for your brother, I think, to do 28 laps. No, I can do 31 laps at Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Different in a race environment though, isn't it? Because, you know, doing 30 laps in practice is physically demanding, but if you're doing 30 laps in a race, that's mental mm -hmm. and physical. Yeah. So I haven't even been doing it for a year yet. I've got some friends that have been in there for a year. And I've been really jealous of them. They're getting really excited when I get to move up and be back with them. A lot more fast and the reasons I like, like go karting is fast and competitive and Rotax is a lot more of that. In Mini Rock you'd be able to make a few mistakes and get past by like five carts and just come back straight away. But in that class you just can't do that. I want to get to supercars probably. It's mainly just like I like them a lot and the tin tops which is like more that I want to do because if I stay this height I, I won't probably be able to do uh, open wheelers. Um, CIK I probably want to get um, trophy it's my main goal so if you're in the top six you get a trophy. This is my second year in junior attacks. Boys like to give me a hard time that my little brother is faster than me, but then he's also faster than the majority of them. But um, yeah, I guess I'm quite unlucky to have him as my brother because he's quite good at it and he's been around it his whole life. And I've kind of only just started compared to him. He kind of knows a lot more and like knows how to drive better and 
Yeah, it's a lot harder for me, but I can learn off him, I guess. So I've been racing carts for eight and a half years. I've been doing junior Rotax now for about two and a half, three years. Very long time, but I've just enjoyed it a lot, so I just kept doing it. So a close family friend of ours, Ryan Wood, so he's doing Super 2 this year in Australia, and I went and watched him one day out at the Palmy Kart Track, and I just knew I had to do it, you know? He raced right through the ranks, winning quite a few things on the way and winning his first titles and stuff at this track. At this track, we'll be hitting 118, 119 up the straight, and you don't get that any other track in New Zealand. That's probably my favourite part of the track, or the sweeper. The sweeper's real fun, real hard on the body because you're carrying constant G-forces the whole way around the corner. Done your little exercises you've been shown? Just do them, eh? Just remember that shroud, eh? Tire temp early, I think will be really important, okay? And just avoiding a pushback and getting clean, because it's this thing will be really fast at the end, I promise you. And hey, just have fun. So up the hill they'll come for the very first time, pre-final A, Rotax Max Jr. Facing the starter, here we go, lights out, into turn one they'll go, Bird on the outside. Oh, Bird's been pushed wide, he's out on the grass, he's lost a few spots. Miles Baker has picked himself up a mechanical black flag, it looks like it might be something to do with the airbox or carburetor on that number 88 car. Was that That's flag for black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Miles. That was Miles. Oh. What for? Oh no! No, he's got a chain guard. He's got a chain guard. Well, he's got a chain guard, so what's it for? Uh, it's the big picture, 88. Yeah, it is 88. So he's come in. Yeah, I haven't put the screws back in it. And then it fully fell off. Yeah, I haven't. I, I had to hold it, and then John told me to throw it to him. So I threw it to John. Yeah, what's happened is I haven't um, put the screws back in, obviously. I'm sorry. You got a good start too, didn't you? I passed Kian. Yeah, I'm really sorry, mate. You did your job, I didn't do mine. Sorry, mate. Most people have their dad spinning the spanners and yeah, their mum there kind of cheering them on as they go, but it's a little bit different for me. My mum's in a wheelchair, which makes it really hard, but um, I've got Shane and he's, he's there for me like a father and he treats me like a son too. He tells me what he thinks, which is, it's good if you know what I mean. Yeah, and then my uh, grandparents come and take me around the country and everything like that. While Ryan's over there in Australia racing Super 2, Shane decides to come and Help me, don't know why, but he can't. 
decides to come and help me and spin the spanners for me and he's really good on it, so it makes my job a little bit easier. There's some nerves in the pits, I'll bet. These young drivers wonder what's going through their minds as they're about to head out. Some nervous looking parents and mechanics walking around. And out the gate they'll go. Now here we come, lights out, Rotax Max Jr. Phipps jumps away, gets a good start around turn one. It looks like Bert's gone right to the outside on the grass, been shoved wide again, Kian Bert. But around we'll go, there's more contact at turn two. That's the number three NZ cart, facing the wrong way. Oh, there's another big crash at the infield through uh, turns four and five. But Phipps doing a great job in front, being hassled by Riley Boswell and Taylor Mitchell. Raymond Malin, the 34, right in there as well. Phipps looks comfortable out in front, doing a great job, the North Island champ, as he heads around turn six, up to the top of the hill he'll go again. Bert's still trying to find some grip out there in these slippery conditions, chasing the 37 of Taylor Mitchell. But Raymond Malin hassling the back of the North Island champ, Ashton Phipps. It's all going to come down to this. Turn six, here we go. Can Malin get down the inside? Great pass, Raymond Malin. Gets through on Ashton Phipps. Malin now leads from the North Island champ. Phipps in the draft. Can he get up the top of the hill and get past into turn one? Malin leaves the door open. Here comes Phipps down the inside. Another pass. Phipps back in front of Raymond Malin. Leaning on the outside of the tyre. Malin back down the inside again. Hammer and tongs into clubhouse, they'll go. Can Phipps get down the inside of Malin? Side by side, Mitt Phipps gets the job done. Now they're down the hill again. Malin chasing hard. This is a good old ding dong from these two. Good old midfield battles going on through here. Oh, it looks like the bumpers come off the 88 card of Miles Baker. That's gonna be a mechanical retirement for the number 88. He'll be disappointed with that. He's worked hard after a disappointing pre-final as well. So back up front with the leaders, Ashton Phipps, still hanging on to that lead, being absolutely hassled by the 34 of Raymond Malin. Oh no, Phipps has lost a tyre. The right rear tyres come off the number North Island cart. That's the end of the day for Ashton Phipps, right in the middle of turn three. That's a heartbreak for the North Island champ as he pulls his cart off to the side of the track. So Sam Thompson heads through turn two, and a massive mover through the field, started way near the rear of field. Fantastic drive from Sam Thompson. Can Kian Burt keep moving forward? He's in P4 at about lap 13 now. Matthew Johnson putting the pressure on the back of the 99 car of Blake Corrin. Can he get past? going to be a win for the 34 of Raymond Malin as he signals to the crowd. He'll be very proud of that effort in tricky conditions, taking home this final here, CRK Trophy of New Zealand for 2023. Raymond Malin winning the round, taking 50 points. Kian Burt, the 1NZ, had a reasonable round but not, couldn't quite match the pace of Raymond Malin, but great moves from Matthew Johnston. Disastrous round for Ashton Phipps, the North Island champ. So heading into Marlborough, Raymond Malin, top of the sheets with Kian Burton second place, Matthew Johnston third, fantastic round, looking forward to Marlborough.